right, uh, today's a big day that every father does not dream about. I didn't sleep all night long. And it's not thinking about this little Tasmanian devil. Today is a day that is a day that, uh, what? Help me out here, man. Uh, that all moms and dads look forward to the day their daughter, their little. Now, how princess. do you know that they look forward to that? I don't really look forward to it. I'm losing my. I'm, just I'm losing my little baby daughter. I'm just assuming. I don't have kids, so I don't know. Well, you know, it's like a, a big change in life. It's like a fucking situation that says, uh, you know, I'm my daughter's dad. But now the wings got to be spread. You got to let her go, and uh, it's kind of an empty feeling in my heart to see my daughter leave. She's not going anywhere, though. Yes, she is. She's getting fucking married. Oh, this is a special day, okay? There I ain't know. nothing quick about today because after gonna, today, the whole world filming changes. All night tonight, you know, we don't need to film all the way there. So what we're doing is we're going to uh, a very special event that only happens one time in a father's life. Hopefully. Well, one real time. After that, it's like, you know, yeah. you're on your own. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I think everybody already figured out what it is. It's called Wedding Day wedding over day. at my friend Pete's. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da. <laughs> so we're heading out to um, my daughter's place. And this is actually the reception. They're not going to get married until next week. Next Saturday. But they already, they were supposed to do all this in one day. And what happened is plans fell through because I think they were all or something like that. I think it? they were all booked up for today on the marriage deal and they were already booked on the venue deal so they had to take the venue thing because they already put their deposit down so they're going to get married next week but tonight's the big reception. So it doesn't really matter if you have a reception before a wedding. My personal opinion, it really doesn't matter. Um, this, is, uh, this is the casual, uh, you know, go as your dress type situation but I decided to hit the Goodwill before I got dressed this morning and I bought me a $1.49 tie and I also got me a, how much was my coat? It was half of $13, so $7.50 $7 oh, jacket was $2 49. and I just said that, $2.49. Okay, $2 so. so, back on to the real situation, we got my daughter getting married. Um, you know, when your daughter gets married, you got all these thoughts going through your mind and, and all past history and time because the day she gets married, it's pretty much over. You aren't the only man in her life anymore. Um, am I nervous about my daughter getting married? Just a little bit because I really don't know Chris's family. But other than that, uh, I'm kind of excited for my daughter and I'm wishing her the best and I'm going to let everybody else out there know that my daughter is pregnant with a baby little boy. I would rather raise 10 boys than I would one you're girl. you raising them, so. Well, I'm just letting everybody out there know. Raising a girl is a different story. They're hard. Yeah, no shit. I got my $2.49 tie. I got my $7 jacket. Manny's got her $23 outfit on. And we're ready to rock and roll and have a good time. Look, I got your favorite. Oh, it's 
Yeah. Got your favorite goes. color. The arrow oh, goes. Isn't, back. isn't purple still your favorite color? Yes. Why do you think everything in here is purple? Okay. Mine not. Gosh. All right. Here we are. We're over at the wedding. I'm ready. Uh, you want the cakes on this The table? father of the dad. Are you ready? The father of the dad. I mean, the father of the daughter. I'm sorry. The bride of the bride. Of the bride. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on? Nothing. You're gonna keep your coat on all the time. Or? No. No, we find, uh, where are we going to sit? Are we going to sit here? I don't know where we're sitting. Time? You want to sit by the door? No, not really. Well, then take our camera and put it somewhere where you want to sit. Unless Chris over there. Okay. All right, we're going to go talk to the groom and see what's going on. So you're the one marrying my daughter. Apparently, that's it. How's that? Is that you're going to be able to take care of her, Chris? Um, All the needs, special needs she needs. Yes. My daughter, I just want to, she's kind of a pain in the ass. I, I, you I know, know that. I've worked with her before. Okay. You know, once you sign that contract, it's a different story. It's not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. I understand. I understand. Dotted you line. Are be square with that deal? Yeah, I'm going to be square with it. You got a little baby boy coming? Yep. You named him after your grandkid? Uh, grandpa. You named after grandpa. And my dad, yeah. yeah. Mix it oh, up there. Okay, so this is like the third. Talsy the third. Yeah. Where are you going, bud? We're waiting for that time to walk away from you, Chris. Max. You're walking away from you, bud. Why? Had to fix that chair. Are, are you getting cold feet or? No, my feet are fine. That's, that's, sure. a, that's a good angle. Good. Feet sure are fine. About that. I'm solid. Okay, dude. Planted. No Cynthia thinks about all this, buddy. Um, she's probably, man, she's probably thinking that's a very close angle you got there. <laughs> well, it's a wide angle lens, dude. Well, I got a big head, <laughs> so it's a good thing. Okay, so you're all square deal. Everything's going to work out right? It's going to work out good. Okay, dude. Where are we sitting? Anywhere? Or is it signed seating? Or? It's like my class, open seating. Okay, many want to know. Okay, so we can sit anywhere we want. Now, you're a school teacher, right? Yeah. Okay, you're walking away from me again, Chris. I'm, I'm sorry. I know, but only, this is only going to take about five minutes. But. Right. Okay, so you're a school teacher. Where are you teaching, bud? Uh, high school, junior high, elementary? High school. Okay, I thought you were junior high. I was at one time. No, it's okay, not anymore. Up. Not anymore. Okay. So everything's gonna be cool then, right? It's gonna be cool. Okay. All right. That's Let's that. get a little picture of us together. Yeah, okay. Good. This is Chris, uh, my future son-in-law. I guess what? Next week? Yeah. Okay. So it'll be next week. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be there at the wedding with him uh, to hand my daughter over to this guy. Let's hope he keeps a steady, stern hand on her and takes care of her like he's supposed to yeah. uh, till death do us part. Right. Is that something like that? Hopefully not so soon. Hold on, what do you mean soon? What are you talking I don't about? Want to die anything. You're not leaving her soon. Well, you said death. So you're not going to be leaving her soon? No, 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 no. Okay, so this is like a lifetime commitment deal. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lifetime. Your, your, your family's got that type of history, right? You got it. I mean, you're not, it's not like a two or three year deal and then down the road we go? No, that's not what's going on. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right, okay. sounds good. All right, we're not embarrassing you or anything? Eh. Okay, everything's cool, bud. Everything's good. Right, take it easy. All right. All right, you don't know me that good yet. Well, I... You haven't watched any of my videos? I haven't. You haven't? A couple. So you've been with my daughter for like, what, two, three years? She's she, she, she shown me a few. you've never watched any of my videos? She's shown, you, she shown wow. me a few. Thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. <laughs> take it easy. Okay, so we just talked to the groom. Let's go over here and talk to one of the oldest friends of Cynthia, and her name is Haley. Haley uh, goes way back in the day. Can you come over here, Haley? We want to get how beautiful you are. Okay, she's actually uh, Cynthia's oldest friend. I remember when they were little kids, they used to be clown acts. Do you remember that? Yeah. What did Jesus do? We would go, we would dress them. Okay, hold on. Instead of looking at me, let's look at her. Okay, Haley, what's going on? What's up? How you doing? Good. We would dress up as like stupid stuff. And right. We, and then we would go, we would walk but down like the what? street. Wasn't one time, there one time you dressed up like guys or something? Oh, all the time. We and then you go to the malls and walk around. And yeah, one time we dressed up as lesbians and then we, we went, what's up, to two people. To and then, people. Yeah, and then yeah. one time we wore top hats and canes and walked down the but street. But you guys were like comedy act of the colony, remember that? Yeah, we were. Now look at you, you look like some centerfold model girl. Thanks. Wow. I'm so funny. Though. I would have never noticed you. If I saw you walk down the street, I would have known that was you. Baby. Really? Yeah. Are you, gonna, are you gonna drink a couple beers tonight? Um, wine, not beers. Uh, yeah. Wine. Wine. Oh, uh, we'll get back with you later. To tell us some really juicy stories of the past. Okay. okay? Right. Yeah, Haley. That was good. We'll see you later. You're dressed like you're going to Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> 
boots are courtesy of some old man from the 80s. They were $10. Well, my coat and my hat are from the 80s. Well, my coat and my hat are courtesy of Goodwill. Nice. $10. Nice. We'll see you later. Great minds think alike. Alright. 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 Okay, we're going to get with Becky. Um, now that's Chris's, uh, that's Chris's, uh, mom. And we're going to see what she has to say about the whole scenario. What's I'm going ready, on, Becky? Here I am ready to get this show on the road. I'm ready to yeah. get these kids celebrating. Okay. And well, I'm ready. Have you been early life? Is this like where you born? I was born and raised in this town, 55 yeah. years. Wow. Yes. Of course, I can of Texas. Of course, I can of Texas. my home. Now, how many other kids you got? I have got Christopher, and I've got an older boy named Ryan. Is he married? Yes, he's married to Ashley. Right. How long has he been married? He's been married for five years. Okay, so he's faithful. I mean, nothing's he's extremely gonna happen. faithful. Okay, so nothing's yes. going to happen now. I think like he's like, scared. Huh? Are you scared? I think he's scared. Yes. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking about your other son. Christopher? No. Ryan. Ryan. No, Ryan is going. Ryan's he's very faithful. Okay. I'm, just, you know, I'm just getting my piece of keys word up yes. to make sure that you know Cynthia's going with the right family. Oh, he, she is. I can okay. definitely tell you that. Right. Now you told me one time you loved her. I do love her very much. Like yes, if I if I could have went out and picked one, I'd have uh -huh. picked that girl right there. Really? Yes. Yes. She's, that She's perfect. Team. Yeah. So did I do a good job raising her? Yes, you did. And, and her mom and stepmother. Yes, you did. You did a great job. Yes, you sure. did. I'm you positive. Verify that. Verify. Okay. Ever since I've been around her, she's very respectful. She's very loving. She's very kind. Let me kind. ask you this. She's pregnant. Yes. What do you think about all that? Andrew? I'm ready. I am ready. Yes, I am. They said that they were going to name her Talsy. Yes, they were. That's my daddy's yeah. name. Name him. That's my daddy's name, Talsy. Are you proud and There's only that? about five Talsies in the world. Are you proud? That I'm very proud. Happen? Very, very proud. So yes. Because Christopher's name is Christopher Talsy. Okay. He's named after my daddy. Right, right, right. And so this was going to be a Talsy. Okay, so it's a pretty exciting day for you. Yes, very exciting. Yes, okay. very, very happy. Very happy. All right, we'll be talking to you later. Okay, I'll check you in a minute. Okay, do we got more people coming out here? Or? Yes. Okay, so. Are they going to be able to talk to us, get a little interview, Chris? I mean, yeah, I think, I, think, I think they'll be all right with that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll talk to Cynthia later. Later. Are you busy right now? Yes, very busy. Uh, well, we just got here. It's just starting, so I better get my act together and maybe help out a little bit instead of walking around. Hold on a minute. What's that? So get your clown act together. Okay, thank you. Are we going to see any Haley and Cynthia later on clown act action going We on? might. We might. You, you never know. You think we might get that? We guy? might. You well, never know. That would know. really be exciting. I'll go back into the old days. Let me go ask Haley about that. Hey, Haley. What? Are we going to see any like old day, old school action of, you know, the two clown acts of the colony? Maybe. We might. We How might. much wine is it going to take you to drink to do that? How much? None. Because na we're naturally like that. You we are? Didn't, we didn't need wine. So you haven't changed that? Yeah, we didn't need wine back in the day. We don't need That's wine right. now. Okay, we'll get it we'll get, later. Get, a little, get, you know, get some wine and get a little loose and then we'll you know, get a little clown act. Okay. Show everybody the comedy act okay. from back in the day. Yeah. Alright. All right. Where's your uh, fiance? Um, <laughs> um, he's, yeah. he's in... He's in uh, oh, he's not here with us? He's not. Um, can't be here. But he's out in San Antonio? Yeah, right living, now. Living large? Living large with my two cats. Okay. Two Making sure you're, you're holding them down, right? Yeah. My little babies. Alright. See you later. Bye. And then we got Buddy. How you doing, Buddy? Oh, I'm doing good. Now, this is uh, Cynthia's uh, stepfather. How you doing today, Buddy? Doing great. You guys came all the way from California? Yes, we did. Yeah. We saw you out at uh, PJ's wedding. Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. So how are you all doing? I'm doing great. You doing yeah. good? You gonna have a good time tonight, buddy? Go drink a couple beers. Feel, feel like, you know. Like, <laughs> you gotta so. do that okay. There you go, buddy. Can you do this one or not? Okay, I'll tell you what, bud. We'll be talking to you later, okay, okay buddy? Okay. All right, take care. This is gonna be as good as PJ's work. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, California. You're from LA, right? Yep. Simi yeah. Valley. Simi okay. Valley. Take it easy, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera. Yeah, you can put it up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. See you later. All right. There you go. actually started you can see behind me uh, what you're looking at you're looking at this guy's family would you say he's got a big family huh? nine aunts nine aunts he's got nine aunts that means that his mom had eight sisters right and uh there's 68 or 70 of them in this, that live in this town. 70? 
relatives. Right. So he's got. They all live here. He's got like 80 relatives that live right here in this town. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty big clan, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, Judges, yeah, now, lawyers, policemen, a little bit everything. Oh really? That's what Cops too, huh? Cops, oh. judges, lawyers, uh, police, everything. Yeah. So we need to watch our uh, attitude while we're here. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So we might be filming the local Johnny Law here. Yeah. Joe could just be one one wrong word away. Yeah. So we better not uh, say anything wrong or film the wrong person because they probably wouldn't like it. Watch out. Is that right? Yeah, watch out. Um, this is kind of how it is when you're at somebody's wedding and you're the outsider looking at the insiders. And uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the situation. Um, we just got done eating lasagna. That was a great deal. And uh, a lot of kids running around. A lot of kids running around. A lot of kids running around. But that's what it's like when you're uh, getting married. I don't even know where my daughter is. I was gonna actually get a little angle with her. But uh, we probably won't be talking to her anymore tonight because she's too busy entertaining everybody. Well, she's the hostess with the hostess, so. might be cops behind us. Okay, there you go. All right. traditional cake no. cutting and uh, Cynthia is going to go ahead and cut a cake, Chris is going to cut a cake, and they're going to feed each other cake, uh, traditional style. Okay, here we go. Alright, you got to do it at the same time. Okay, there you go. You got to cross your arms, cross your arms. There you go. Yeah, something like that. Then you gotta cross your arms when you beat each other. You gotta cross your arms like and intertwine them. Come on, you can do that. There you go, cross your arms. Okay, all right, there you go. That's it. Go, no, cross your arms, cross up. No. Okay, you, you can give her a bite. There, there you go. You're beating yourself. No, you're supposed to beat each other. You're not supposed to. Someone's going to talk to us over here at my daughter's wedding uh, reception. Uh, his name is, what's your name? Woodrow Wilson. Now, is that like a president's name? Woodrow Wilson, what, no, what president was he? Uh, 1913. 1913? You don't remember the number president he was? Like the 12th president? 14? Okay. Woodrow Wilson, let's give him a talk. Now, this is like Chris's favorite uncle of uh, all time. and. And Chris is his favorite nephew and all that. So he's going to really give us the real story of what Chris is all about. And if my daughter's going to the right guy. Okay, he's laughing at that. All right, Woodrow, what's going on? Give us a little angle on the situation. The boy is shady. Is he a shady character? Yeah. Now, what's going on with him, bud? Uh, you've known him all his life. Yeah. Is he a square guy? Is he getting a little bit on the round side? Is he going to cut my daughter a square deal? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. You said he was, yeah. you, but you just said he was shady. Yeah, but 
Yeah, he's going to do her good. Okay, he's going to do my daughter good, though. Yeah, he's yeah. He's a shady character, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I trust this guy to take care of my daughter the way I need her to be taken care of. Is it a good idea to go ahead, you know, and, and you know, give her to him and let him take over? Where's he at? I might, I might need to get 50 bucks out of him. There you go, buddy. There you go. Let me get a little bright money. Yeah, yeah. Now, you said you love Chris like he was your own son. That's right. Is that right? That's you right. You said that if you ever had a kid, you'd want him to be just like Chris. Yeah. Yeah. And he's one of the best kids in the world that you've ever met. Well, that's really yeah. serious. Am I, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm you're really proud. About you're proud of him. Oh, yeah. Um, I think he'll be all right. Think but, so? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As long as he's all right. Yeah. Thank you. As long she'll as my be able daughter, to. As long as my daughter's all right, that's really all we really yeah. care about. Okay. She'll, that's she'll, the real angle. She'll be able to handle it. All right, Everybody Woody. loves Chris. <laughs> all right, Woody. Thank you very much. Right, you we'll bet. see you later. You, you take care. All right. We got Brian over here now. Are you a friend of Chris's? I am. Okay, uh, Minnie. We got someone that actually is going to talk to us. Oh, wow. This guy's name is Brian. Claims he's a real close friend of Chris. Maybe he'll give us some inside information like Woody did. Ooh, some secrets. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, we'll see what kind of guy that uh, uh, Brian thinks Chris is. All right, how you doing, buddy? I'm pretty good. My name's Pete. Uh, of course, you know I'm Cynthia's dad, right? Yep. If the camera's close, that's because we got a lot of people in here. And we got to get a good... Okay. okay. All right, go ahead and talk, Brian. What's going on, bud? We're just here celebrating with Chris and Cynthia. We're having what a great time. What about Chris? What about Chris? We're celebrating. He's a talented uh, what guy. What about Chris? What's going on with him? Is he gonna be able to take care of my daughter? Yes. Cause I'm a pretty big guy, dude. Hey, you are a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get in a scrap. For the record, but... I'm also not a big guy. No. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to get in a scrap with this guy. Is he gonna take care of my daughter? Yes. Are you positive about that? Absolutely. Right. Did you used to hang out with him? Oh yeah. Did you all used to go bar hop? Uh, I guess whenever we were closer friends before we could go to the bar back in high school. Yeah. And then I moved off for But he wasn't the type of guy that would, you know, pick up one night standard. Or, nah. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. He's not paying you to say all this. Nope. Because you walked up to me and asked me about videotape. Absolutely. Which was actually kind of odd. Nope. He's not paying me. You sure? Yep. Okay, but what else did you want to tell us? Oh, I just wanted to say nice to meet you. And uh, right. what about Chris? What, what do you got? That's what I'm asking. What about Chris? Oh. Is there anything we should know about this guy? Chris is a, a great, I think he's going to be a great dad. Chris is a really loving guy. He cares a lot about his friends and his family. And I bet he's going to be a great dad. Okay, I think he's trying to sell a situation to me that Chris is actually a nice guy. Uh, let's see what else he's got to say. Okay, so he's a dedicated guy that's going to be loving my daughter, taking care of uh, his son, my grandson. Is that what we're saying oh, here? Oh, yeah. Okay, Brian, appreciate it. Nice to meet you. All right, he says the, uh, uh, what's his name? Chris. Chris. Uh, he says Chris is a square deal guy. That's he, what I heard. Uh, right, one more time. There you go, buddy. That's about, what, seven times now? About seven times. So when I said shake the hand and make a friend, don't worry, bud. We're friends. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think this guy's a square deal? I think I'm talking he's square. about Brian, not yeah, Chris. Yeah, I, I, you don't I, think he's rounding us? No, no, I think he's telling you. Uh, well, he did shake the hand and make a friend about 65 times. There That's you go. Something. So, I, you don't understand, he's an insurance guy, and when they shake your hand too many times and, and start giving it. Could be a little iffy uh, there, but, no, but I think he's okay. Okay, we actually had Chris come up to us and said that uh, I need to film these guys, and it might be to verify that he's a square deal guy. All right, uh, what's going on, buddy? Not much. Who are these guys that you're going to introduce us to? What's going on? These are some of my buddies here. Okay, you got to talk a little loud. This, you know. These are my friends. Okay, these are your friends. Now, what's their names? It's Joseph and the Skin. Now, how long have you known these guys? Uh, a little over a decade. Oh, did you say Joe and what? Gary. Gary and Joe? Yeah. Okay, so you grew up here in this town, am I right? That's right. And these guys grew up with you all their life? or? Yeah, we met around a little over, okay. a little around in the high school. All right. Can I go ahead and talk to them now? Please do. Okay, what's your name, buddy? I'm Joseph Brown. You're Joe? Yeah. All right, shake your hand. What's your name? Gary Bauer. Gary, you look like a basketball player, Gary. You're up there pretty tall. Dude. You used to be. You're a big guy. How tall are you, bud? Six, six. Six, 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 six. six. Wow. You sure you're not wearing construction boots or something today? <laughs> okay, dude. All right. All right. 
Uh, so what's going on now? Tell us something about Chris that we should know. Uh, Give us some dirty is. laundry. Nobody's giving us any dirty laundry on Chris. Now everybody's putting out the Chris. Everybody's putting out the Chris as an angel here. What's going on, Joe? It keeps it pretty open. There's not a whole lot. There's not nobody knows. Well, I know he's from a small town. There's really yeah, I mean, we go, we'd go to those church camps and stuff. And yeah, we'd play the We'd go to church camps and he'd play the guitar. And, okay. And then right, we'd so sing. You go to church every year. Going to church. Okay. At least Christmas and Easter every year. At least Christmas and Easter. <laughs> but there yeah. you go. What's well, going on, buddy? Give us some dirty laundry. Well, the first memory I can remember of Chris is when we went to South Padre. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We all know what happens down there. Yeah. Should we go any further with this? Because I think Cynthia might be watching this. Well, we got to tell him. Uh, okay, go ahead, bud. He was in a bathtub on a boogie board. A <laughs> bathtub on a boogie board? With a cowboy hat on. Uh-huh. Inside. I mean, just hanging out. He was by himself. Okay, hold on. What, somebody drinking too much that day? Or? I don't but, even think. I think he was stone cold sober that day. I was so. Okay. I just, we went to go watch uh, Coolio. Coolio Iglesias? Coolio. Who's Coolio? The guy that sang Dangerous Minds or whatever. You know who he's talking about? Yeah, he's a famous 90s rapper. Okay. It was, it was weird. Are we still down on Padre Island? And when we got back, Chris was in the bathtub surfing on a boogie board. Oh, you were in a bathtub on his boogie board surfing. <laughs> yeah. So you were having too much to drink that night, or? Nah, I just I don't know. I like surfing over here. Need to surf. I'm trying to get some dirty laundry on these guys. So tell me memory stories about uh, Padre Island. Uh, how Chris was on a boogie board in a bathtub. In a bathtub. That doesn't. Okay. Is that the most dirtiest laundry? I mean, that's that's. Yeah. No, it's not. But I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <You're not laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Joe. Right. They, they know better. We, they plead the fit. All right. So you guys are verifying that this guy's going to take care of my daughter and do it the right way. Yes, sir. Okay. Because I, you know, statute of limitations. It looks to so me long. like, you know, if I got mad at this guy, I'd have the whole town after me. <laughs> and, you know, we love Chris. We love Chris. Okay. Take care of your daughter. Which means we love. So you love Chris. What about you, Joe? Yes, you love sir. It's like a brother. Which means we're now we're taking in Cynthia. So. I know. She's going to have to put up with us now. She's a handful, dude. She's a handful, guys. Okay, are you going to be happy with my daughter? Yes, sir. You sure? Positive. Okay, I've always liked her since the day I met him. I always thought he was a good guy. And, uh, you know, now's the time of truth, guys. Because guess what? We're not boyfriend girlfriend anymore. Changing. Now the papers get signed. Legal. When the papers get signed, attitudes change. So Still you good. See what I'm saying? We're still good. What about you, Joe? Are you married? Yes, sir. Okay. Did it change when you got married? I believe it did. Still the same with me. Are you married? Yes. Where's your wife? I don't think she's right there. Oh, okay. All right. How are you doing? So you can hear your wife. I'll put in my coverage. Uh, so your wife was listening to us, so you just had to agree on that. No. Come on, be on. I didn't know she was listening. Uh, okay, guys. Nice to meet you. Shake your hand, make a friend. It's you. going, Dad. I gotta go. We'll see you all later. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, looks like it's getting ready to close down. We got some kids running around. Been a great, great night. And uh, it looks like my daughter is going to be in a wonderful family. And, uh, yeah. Looking good. Guess we're down the road and the party is officially over. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. They rented it out till 10. It's a done deal. Yeah, I remember this place here. I used to deliver here. Huh. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, that was a fun little celebration. And I'll tell you, he's got a hell of a family. Big family. God. Big, big, big family and they're all right here in town. I think everybody there except seven people or his whole family. There's, yeah, nine. I don't know. He said the whole family wasn't even there. Nine, yeah, no, there's, no, the whole family wasn't even there. Jesus. There's nine sisters. One passed away, so there's eight left, wow. and they all live in this town. Wow. And, uh. That's crazy. Yeah, so. Well, I think Cynthia's going to be happy. I think she will. Seems like she fit right in with the country bumpkin style life, huh? There you go. Country bumpkin, country town. I think she likes that. Mom and pop. 
Oh, she did say that she'd like to go back to Dallas one day because she's gonna probably. She said she's gonna get tired of the small life in the city. Well, you know, she has a big city girl. That's probably gonna be. A, uh, hopefully, won't be a problem for Chris because Chris is not a big city guy. He was born and raised know. here. I don't know, his whole family lives here, don't they? Yeah, so I don't think he's going to move away. No. Well, that ain't our business, but the real deal is it's a good deal. Everything worked out, and Sam thinks he's going to be a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. Seems like we got some good news about Chris. Doesn't seem like Chris is a slouch. He's got a full-time job. He's a school teacher. Went to college to do that. Blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And got some good verifications that says, you know what? You're gonna have a nice son-in-law. But you know, I always liked Chris ever since I knew him. Yeah, I thought, I, yeah, he's definitely better than any of the other boyfriends Cynthia ever brought um, home. I think Cynthia only Which had two not boyfriends. Which not that very many, but. I only think of two boyfriends that she had. Actually, one, well, two. Anyway, are we turning here? No, I don't know where we're going. I think you're just driving. No, I'm not. I'm trying to go back the same way we came. Like the same way we came, so. All right, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, sending my daughter off into the big world and taking the uh, monkey off my back and feeling good about it. Um, I was a little bit, uh, uh, what can you say, sad and wasn't really happy about the situation, but, you know, every father that loves their child is going to think that, and that's just the way life is. Um, that's all I can say. You got anything to say? Nope, it was fun. Let's get down the road and let's get home. We gotta go to work tomorrow, Sunday. And work on nitpick norms. Roadrunner. What a fucking joke. I will tell you one thing. These lights sure last a long time. And it's, okay, here it goes. Alright. See you later. Get 50 bucks out of him. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs>